Hey guys, it's me, and um, I'm doing my current favorites for, like, I guess winter and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to kind of get right into this because I can't, like, upload movies or videos to YouTube. Um, like, export them from iMovie and then upload because it always says there's this random error. So yeah. Um, I'm going to start with, like, the paint I chose. Um, I went to Sears today and to get paint because my parents like Sears paint, I guess. I really wanted this bare color paint for my room. This is Spice Cake, and it's, like, really pretty. Spice Cake. It's, like, a really pretty brown. Um, but my parents like, get something at Sears. Um, so I found this one that's pretty close, and it's called Mocha Suede, and it's from Dutch Boy. And it looks like this. It's number B14 slash two so i mean in comparison they're pretty similar um but obviously they're different so i'm gonna be painting my room probably not next week in the weekend after that maybe um it's just christmas i don't know when i'm painting my room but it, it'll get done don't worry um so yes yeah, so i'm gonna kind of move these things out of the way because they're not my favorites um kind of random favorites I've really been loving the mango mandarin body lotion this is such a summer scent but it reminds me of when I went to Aruba um it smells so good it smells like awesome like I don't know how to explain it, it smells like summer and I miss summer right now because it is freezing cold outside so yeah and this was 1050 at Bath and Body Works okay so then, for another lotion, um, I've really been loving my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is just a huge thing of it. This is the only thing I like about my skincare routine because, um, if you can't tell, I have a bunch of breakouts right here, right here, on my cheeks. I'm trying to get rid of, um, acne scarring, but, like, can you not see it? It's, like, gross. Um. So I'm going to be either trying the Murad kit or the, it's from Bliss, No Zit, Sherlock, like, yeah. Um, I'm either trying one of those, um, yeah, I'm going to get the starter kits from those. But tell me which one you guys, like, if you tried Murad or No Zit, Sherlock, which one's better? Because I heard No Zit, Sherlock is better if you have acne scarring. So I might get that, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, another thing, the, I guess the only other thing I like about my skincare routine is this helps kind of get rid of acne. This is a Proactive Solutions Refining Mask Combo Therapy. It's a sulfur acne treatment. I probably won't get this again once this is gone. I mean, it's not holy grail product. But this was $20. And then my eye cream is... They discontinued. It's Avon Solutions Lighting Up Plus Eye Cream. Um, this was like $15 and I just dropped it. It just moisturizes my eyes. I mean, I don't have to like worry about wrinkles right now. But this just gets my eyes really moisturized. Okay, so on for the makeup, I'm going to start, or I guess I have nail polish. So the one nail polish I have on today, I really like, um, and it is OPI Dreaming of Red. Yeah, it's like snowing outside, so it's really bright out. Um, this is just a really pretty red color. I do not like OPI nail polishes. I like the color of it, and I'll get to tell you why I don't like OPI nail polishes. It's because I met these nail polishes, and they're called the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro Nail Polishes. These are like $3, so they're like a little less than half, or a little more than half the price, or a little less than half the price. I don't know. OPI are like $9 each. Um, these stay on my nails. These don't chip. It says like 10 days, up to 10 days, they don't chip. These chip day 5, which, I mean, I put the OPI on last night. It's already chipped, if you can't tell, which is really annoying, um, especially when you're paying $9 for the nail polish. So, um, just in general, these are my favorite nail polishes, but this one is 270 Steel Gray, 290 Crushed Pearl, and 240 English Rose. I really like English Rose. That's a very like pretty spring color. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyes first, like I usually do. Um, and the one thing I've been really loving is Indian Wim Paint Pot. I tried filming this last night, and I totally killed this little paint pot. I feel so bad for this little guy. Do you see that big dent? My finger, like I don't know what I did. I like slipped, and it like it was it was horrible. 
so I wasted like a lot of product I mean it doesn't look like I did but I did like I had a swatch that like covered my whole hand um but it's just a pretty like gold shimmery color it's a cream eyeshadow if you don't know what a paint pot is and it's an Indian one if I did not already say that the next thing I've been liking is an eyeshadow or like I guess a quad um I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today or like some of the colors I actually have this color wait which one's this one's on the lid, and then I have this one as a highlight and in inner um, corner highlight, and then I have this one mixed into the crease with another color, but it's just the CoverGirl Quad in 215 Country Rose. Country Rose. I, did I just say Country Rose? I said that last night too. Country Woods. Yeah. These are like $4, so they're really inexpensive, and they're pretty good pigmentation. I'll swatch them. The only one that isn't that great of pigmentation is the white one, so you kind of got to dig a little bit. Um, um, I usually have to put on, like today I had to do, I guess, two layers. I don't know what you would call that. Oh, that's a cool car. But two layers of this color to kind of just, I guess, make it more pigmented. I didn't put an eye base underneath, so that's probably why. Um... But I really like that. I want to get some more. The next um, eyeshadow I've been loving is Truffle in Mink. Um, I actually have Mink on the crease of my eye today um, along with the CoverGirl palette. But if I'm ever in a rush, I usually like to do... Well, my eyes look so blue here. I'm so off topic in this video. But um, if I'm in a rush, I'll always just go with these. I'll do Truffle on all over and lid in the crease um if I'm always in a rush and then I'll just throw this in my backpack to like I guess kind of if it wears off during the day just kind of fix it up okay so then the last thing for eyes is my favorite eyeliner ever I want to get like 50 of these and they're the Avon Glimmer Sticks Glimmer Sticks in Blackest Night and this is the waterproof one they have a couple different ones First thing I like about it, it's that it you don't have to sharpen it. It's retractable. Second thing I like about it is that it stays on my waterline. I have it on today. I have it on my waterline and on my lower lash line. Um, yeah. I kind of fell asleep, so it's kind of smeared off. But it's really pigmented, too. Um, here, I'll swatch it. Like, look how black that is. This is blacker than the Urban Decay ones. I feel like the Urban Decay ones... They don't, they don't last on my waterline at all, um, and they're so expensive, like, it's so weird with those, because my mom loves them, like, they last on her waterline, but they don't for me, so, I don't know, it's kind of, like, hit or miss. So, for lips, I'm trying to keep this moving, I have two minutes left, um, I've really been loving the Aquafina Flavor Splash lip balms, you get four of them for $2.50, um, I've had these for a couple months now, so I kind of ran out of raspberry and citrus blend um but this is just like the mint one and then this is wild berry but i don't like the smell of this so i barely use this one and they're just white another lip balm i've really been loving is the yes to carrots see me smile lip butter i've had this since i think august and i'm still trying to get so like it lasts forever um it's just kind of like an off-white yellowy color and um, and it's <laughs> all 95% organic and all natural and it's USDA organic so it's like actually organic um yeah the next thing I've been loving which I had this lip combination in my um video yesterday or outfit of the day and this is the Avon um lip gloss in a tube and it's just this like cherry red color I hope it'll show up better it still looks really tomato red but it's like it looks tomato red against my nails because my nails are so red, but it's like, it's cherry red. Um, I promise you it is. Um, and it goes on really sheer, um, but it gives you like color though. And then the e.l.f. lip stain in Lucky Lady, the lip gloss I have on over it, but any red lip gloss would go good with that. Okay. Last thing are my face products. Um, like I said, I need a new skincare routine. 
mine has not been working I've been breaking out like crazy um it's kind of disgusting what is that that is disgusting okay so for, I don't wear foundation um but I actually use this foundation for under my eyes um like strictly under my eyes um I don't know what my voice is like quivering but I have a concealer I do not like it at all I do not recommend it I feel like or at least if you have dry skin because it doesn't work with dry skin because it just makes you look really flaky and kind of gross um but I guess I should the cap on this is a dream mousse concealer so yeah I don't like that at all um but since this is kind of a liquid it works better with dry skin um, and it's the CoverGirl Clean for sensitive skin. And this is in 220 Creamy Natural. I like this one because I don't know if you can tell it's pink. It has pink undertones, so it goes, uh, it goes good under. Okay, this is over 10 minutes. Okay, great. Um, it goes good under my eyes, which is really nice. It just looks like that. You can see. I can't like hold it straight. Yeah. So it looks like that. And I really do enjoy that. And then to kind of powder over, which is weird because I have dry skin and I use powder. I know. Say what? Um, this is a Sephora Mineral Compact Foundation. I don't think they sell this one anymore. I know they sell like a loose powder, but I probably won't get this one again. Look at how white it looks. It's not that white. I look so white in this because of the snow. But it's like, it's an R15, which means it has rose undertones. It's a little light for me, so I use it sparingly. But I really do like it. So that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will talk to you later. Bye. That was a really weird outro. Outro? Bye, guys. I can't flip and say it. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, peace.